Hi everyone, I literally have class in 40 minutes and I just thought the trailer for the Hating Game movie just dropped randomly with no explanation and I've been planning on like when it did like release that I was gonna do a reaction video so despite me having class in 40 minutes I'm gonna film my reaction to watching this trailer right now if you didn't know the hating game is one of my five-star reads throughout the course of my channel I've talked about this book in like every single video ever and I feel like this is one of the books that you guys messaged me the most about reading because I told you to so if you didn't know it's becoming a movie and the trailer just dropped this is one of my favorite books one of my favorite standalones I have really low expectations for the movie just because every time a book to movie adaptation has Ever happened I've been disappointed so I have low expectations I'm gonna put it on the screen and raw react to it and then give you my thoughts and opinions okay quickly before we get into this trailer reaction this video is sponsored by karma so I want to talk about them first karma is an app or Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code personally I think using karma is the best during Black Friday which is coming up or even holiday shopping I like to use it to plan in advance to make sure I'm getting the best deals like I'm literally planning on using it this year to treat myself and buying myself some new camera equipment I've already seen great deals for like 40% off stuff so i'm very excited about that all you need to do is click the link in the description box and download the chrome extension from karma's website the great thing about karma is that you can save all your items to different lists to organize your shopping and help with impulse purchases so here's one of my lists saving an item is super easy you just click on the karma tab on the right side of your screen select what you want to be notified about and what list you want to add each item to and that's it at checkout, Karma automatically scans the web for coupon codes to make sure you're getting the best deal. This is a special feature if you use Karma on your computer, so the web extension is a must. And when you shop at select retail stores, Karma gives cash back to you and to a good cause. So you can click the link in my description box to download the Karma extension straight from my page. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to Karma for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna watch on my phone just because I have the link right here. I already know they probably changed so much, but I just hope it's not cringy. I just hope they did it well and not in like a cringy rom-com way. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I'm trapped here. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, whoa. Started right away. Okay. I'm trapped here day after endless day with my one maniacal Okay, <laughs> it's already cringy. <laughs> the eyes? Why doesn't she have blue eyes? Like, I already knew this because Sally Thorne posted about it, but I feel like a huge part of the plot, like a reveal at the end, I'm not going to spoil it, but it has to do with the color of her eyes. And the fact that they just zoom in and her eyes are literally like hazel. Oh, I can't say that. Never mind. <laughs> also, the casting. I like Lucy Hale as Lucy. I don't know how I feel about the Josh. That's not how I pictured Josh, but like, it's fine. Okay, let's continue. Four complaints this week. Four. This is a period. When you take a period and put it- that donut hole away or I'm gonna shove it up your- You two are the worst part of my job. Okay, they're in the elevator, but there's someone else with them. They're fighting in the office. Mm, I feel like that's not very accurate to the book. I feel like they kept their fights more like inward and they were professional on the outside. It was more passive aggressive. Like I don't remember them ever having like a public fight like that, screaming in the office. And I don't remember anyone ever being like, you guys are the worst part of my job, whatever. We're gonna be hiring a managing director who will oversee each department. The job is mine, shortcake. You get the job all resign called their shortcake. Josh in this is not how I pictured him at all. He was super serious in the book and he's already smiled like a hundred times in this trailer. Right, just like you will if I do. Ah, uh, but I'm incapable of giving you that pleasure. Well, it's not the first time you said that to a woman, is it? Okay, we got the rom-com aspect. They're in the elevator here. So is this their first kiss scene? Because that scene's iconic, the elevator scene. Oh my God. So they're competing for the same job title. We got that going. That's good. We're off to an okay start. But the music in the background and like the, the quotes is giving me very much Hallmark movie vibes. Uh. Are you and he like there's a vibe there? No. I hate him. Why are they fighting? Why did she just beat him up? What the fuck? With a passion. Okay, the wet Officers, dream. What's the occasion? Psychological warfare. I wonder what it's like to use raw animal magnetism as a weapon. Hi. I love that scene in the book when she like dresses up just to dist or like get his attention. Oh my god, oh my god, the way he stares at her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hi, I had some weird dreams last night. I was in bed naked. I have a theory. Okay, so she did tell him about the dream, like she does in the book. What is happening? What are we doing? 
this game that we play every day. Hating someone feels disturbingly like falling in love with them. Wait. Why are they kissing in the- are they in a closet? Do not tell me they changed the elevator scene. If they change the elevator scene, I will literally rain hellfire. Let's play a different game. A starting over game. Why? I, I don't want to be some experiment before you settle down. Wait, what? Why are they showing- We are competing for the same job. It's impossible to trust each other. I'm in this. You can trust that. Wait, why are they showing like all of them together, like them together, together? Like the whole plot is them together. I literally, the whole plot is mostly them being apart and they're not together till the end. What is going on? I told you she'd back off if you let her think that you could bet the pony. I don't need any help beating her. You will just do whatever it takes to win. Oof. Whatever this is, I don't want to do it anymore. Okay. Never. Lucy, when you first met Jack, the wedding. <laughs> I thought he was cold and freakishly tight. I thought Lucy was. It's fine. Let's kiss ass. It was hate at first sight. <laughs> okay. Finished watching it. Obviously. Um. I feel like I need to watch it again. I'm gonna watch it again real quick. Okay, I watched it again. I don't know how I feel. Okay, it's not how I pictured it in my head at all, but that's like obviously expected because like how are they supposed to know what the fuck I pictured in my head? I feel like it it has a the vibe of the hating game, but it doesn't capture the book essence. I feel like it's like is giving me like Hallmark Christmas romance movie vibes, which is what I usually don't like in rom com movies. I feel like sometimes rom coms just don't transfer over well into movies because like they become cringy. It's different to read it. I like how they did it i think i don't know i don't know what i think guys sorry i'm like going through it frame by frame okay this is the thing i'm already disappointed that they changed her eye color like how hard was it to wear colored contacts i feel like that that would not have been very hard um some of the lines were a little awkward josh seemed a little too happy and not as grumpy as i expected a lot of the scenes that were in that trailer i don't remember them being in the book and then a lot of my favorite book scenes were not the trailer which it's okay, there's still some hope then that they'll be in the movie. Like, what is it, the paintballing part? When she's sick and he takes care of her. Like all those like, little plot points that build to them being together. The wedding was in there, which is good because that's really important. It's like the turning point. But I felt like the trailer showed so much of them being together and being cute and romantic when in the book, they have their first kiss and then it's kind of back and forth from there, but they, they're never like couple-y until the end. So I'm a little confused on that, but it's not awful. Like I feel like I'm still gonna like the movie. Even if it is kind of cringy, like it's okay. Like I feel like all like rom-coms are a little bit cringy. It is giving me cheesy Hallmark vibes, but like at the same time, I'm not hating it. I'll be disappointed if they like change a bunch of stuff, but I feel like I'm gonna like kind of separate the book from the movie and be able to enjoy the movie as its own thing and the book as its own thing. It's giving me very like holiday, cute, it's cold outside watching a cute rom-com vibe. I wonder when it's gonna come out. Did it even say? I don't think it said. I don't know how I feel. How do you guys feel? I wanna hear your opinions if you've read the book, even if you haven't. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What is your opinions on the casting? What's your opinions on the trailer so far and the things they've changed? What do you expect from the movie? Or what do you think they're gonna leave out? I like that they included the quote, the first quote in the book. I have a theory, hating someone feels disturbingly similar to being in love with them. They said falling in love in the trailer, but like, it's fine. I like that they used some of the quotes. I wonder how well that's gonna translate over. We're just gonna have to see. I kind of want to give the book a reread before the movie comes out, but at the same time I don't because I feel like I'll get really into the book again and then get disappointed. But I feel like a big part of Josh's character is he didn't smile for like the first 200 pages of the book and Lucy was always waiting for him to smile and like wanted to see what he would look like smiling and then when he finally did, she was like, oh my god, like that's like the moment she realized like she was attracted to him when he smiled. I'm trying to find it. I know I annotated it in here. And then I I feel like in the trailer he smiled like in every scene so i'm a little bit confused on that he was giving me a lot more happy oh yeah it says the first smile josh was ever had in my presence is pressed against my lips okay that was their first kiss but then the first time she saw him smile is like is when she says his smile is worth a thousand of anyone else's i need to photograph something to hold on to okay actually they are together from pretty early on in this book like here's their first kiss like that 
soon. So maybe I'm just thinking of it as being a slow burn because they kind of go back and forth a lot in this book. They don't want to be together, but they are. I think I just had like a different picture in my head. Anytime you read a book and then it translates to a movie, obviously it's not gonna be your exact idea of the book. So that's why I'm a little confused. I have mixed feelings, but I feel like I'm gonna like it. Do you think you're gonna like it? What are we feeling? The hating game fans, what are we feeling? I don't know what I feel, but I'm excited nonetheless. Like I'm really excited for it to come out. I hope it comes out soon. I hope it comes out in like a few months around like maybe like New Year's time. That was my reaction to the Hated Game trailer. I hope you enjoyed seeing that. It's probably gonna be a quick video. I'm pleasantly surprised because I had low expectations because like book to movie adaptations are usually disappointing because you can never fit everything in a book in a movie. I'm not horribly disappointed, but I'm not like over the moon about that. Like they, I feel like it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I didn't capture the essence perfectly, but I don't hate it. That's my overall review. Please leave all your thoughts and comments and opinions in the comments below. I would love to hear everything you have to say. I wanna do videos like this for all of my favorite books that are becoming movies because all of a sudden like Red, White, and Royal Blue is becoming a movie. Unhoneymooners is becoming a movie. The Seven Husbands, Daisy Jones and the Six is becoming a TV show. They're already like in the middle of filming it right now. The Summer I Turned Pretty, but I feel like I'm gonna probably do like more videos like this trailer reactions and stuff as they come out because so many all of a sudden got announced oh it ends with us definitely we'll be doing a trailer reaction for that i'm so excited for that but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you want to follow me on my other social medias they're all linked down below as always and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye